If you're pressing the gas pedal, but your car won't move or accelerate, even though you can see the RPMs rising and hear the engine revving, there are some common causes for this issue. Let's go over them. Low on transmission fluid. The first thing to check is the transmission fluid, as low fluid levels are a very common cause of this issue. If the transmission doesn't have enough fluid, it won't be able to engage properly, causing the engine to rev without the car moving. Start by checking the fluid level, but make sure the vehicle is in park or neutral before doing so. Some people mistakenly add fluid while the car is still in gear, and if it suddenly engages, it could be dangerous. Every vehicle has different requirements for checking transmission fluid. Most cars should be in park, while some need to be in neutral. Some require the engine to be warmed up, and others have dipsticks with markings for both hot and cold levels. If you're unsure, check your owner's manual for the correct procedure. However, low transmission fluid is a very common cause, so make sure it's at the right level before considering other reasons. Failed transmission. Another common issue is a failed transmission. If internal components such as gears wear out or break, the transmission won't engage properly, preventing the vehicle from moving. Ideally, it's just a case of low fluid, but if you hear clunking, grinding, or similar noises when you rev the engine and the vehicle doesn't move, it could indicate a transmission problem. If that's the case, further inspection or professional diagnosis may be necessary. Failed torque converter. Next, check the torque converter, which is located just in front of the transmission. The torque converter is filled with transmission fluid and spins to help transfer power. If it fails, you'll typically feel some shuddering, slipping, or lagging sensation before the car stops moving altogether. If you experience this, the torque converter might be the culprit. However, to address this issue, you'll likely need to remove the transmission to access and replace the torque converter. Bad Clutch Another thing to consider is whether your vehicle has a manual transmission. Although it's not as common these days, if you do have a manual, a bad clutch could be the issue. A worn or faulty clutch can prevent the car from moving while the engine revs. Engine control module or failed sensor. Lastly, the problem could lie with the faulty engine control module or a bad sensor. This varies depending on the vehicle, but some modern cars have drivetrain controls that are electronically managed. If these systems malfunction, they might prevent proper engagement of the transmission. This issue is more likely to occur in newer cars, especially those with advanced computerized systems. Older vehicles, typically those 10 to 15 years or older, are less likely to experience this problem. So it's worth checking for any issues with the onboard computer and sensors, especially if you have a newer car. That's about it. If you have anything to add, feel free to comment below. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.